Deuce McBride hits 9 threes and Knicks 145 to 101 shellacking of Raptors. The Knicks got six first quarter three pointers from Deuce McBride and never looked back, dismissing a short handed Raptors side in a dominant 145 to 101 win in Toronto on Wednesday night as Mitchell Robinson played for the first time after missing the last 50 games. New York shot 57.9% from the floor and hit 22 of 44 from three-point land en route to scoring the team's most points in a regulation game since November 1980. The Knicks, now winners of three straight and seven of their last eight, improved to 44-28 on the season to go 16 games over .500 for the first time in 11 seasons. The win also pulled New York ahead of the Cleveland Cavaliers who lost in Charlotte, into the three-seed in the Eastern Conference via a tiebreaker. The Knicks are also just 2.5 games behind the Milwaukee Bucks for the number two spot. Toronto fell to 23-50 with the loss. Here are the takeaways, McBride, getting the chance to start for the fifth straight game, knocked down his first three from beyond the arc but he wasn't done. McBride would knock down three more from deep in the quarter to tie a franchise record with Quinton Richardson and John Starks for most threes in a quarter six. The guard finished the opening frame with 18 points on 6 for 9 shooting 6 for 8 from 3 with 3 assists and a steal. McBride would finish with a team high 29 points on 10 for 17 shooting 9 for 14 from 3 with 3 rebounds and 7 assists in 39 35 of game time. He was a team high plus 40 on the night. He entered the night shooting 42.5% from beyond the arc since returning to the rotation on December 30th. It was McBride's fifth straight game with at least 39 minutes, and during that span, he is averaging 21.6 points on 38 for 67 shooting 56.7% and 23 for 47 from 3 47.9%. The Knicks' hot shooting from deep wasn't limited to McBride pouring it in. Bohan Bogdanovic started 2 for 3 and Dante DiVincenzo started out 2 for 2. Jalen Brunson, feeling left out of the fun early in the game, had a 7 to 0 run himself early in the second quarter to put the Knicks up 21 with a 10 to play in the quarter. The All Star guard had 11 of his 17 first half points in the period. New York shot just 3 for 13 from behind the arc in the second, but it didn't matter as they pulled down 10 first half offensive boards and had 19 second chance points to build an 80 to 59 halftime lead. The 80 points were the most they scored in a half this season. The Knicks shot 30 for 49 from the floor 61.2% and out rebounded the Raptors 24 to 10 in the half. Overall, Toronto's porous defense was a real slump buster for the Knicks, especially for Bogdanovic who was shooting 26.5% from three in his last 12 games. He had 18 off the bench connecting on 7 of 11 shots 4 of 5 from deep in 16 minutes. Brunson finished with 26 points 11 for 19 from the floor with 7 assists and 4 rebounds and was a plus 27 in 28 minutes. Josh Hart who didn't get his first bucket until late in the third quarter had 7 points, 10 assists and 6 rebounds in 34 minutes. Precious Akiowa added 19 off the bench including 2 on a thunderous garbage time dunk and 12 rebounds in his return to Toronto. With 5.08 left in the first quarter, Robinson entered to make his first appearance since December 8 after having ankle surgery. Robinson scored his first bucket in his return on an alley OOP and added two more on a ginger roll after a strong drive with his left hand to put the Knicks up 17. He would open the second by flying in to swat away a wide open layup for his first block of the night. Robinson re-entered with five to play in the third and was a nuisance Toronto couldn't deal with, drawing a pair of loose ball fouls on the offensive end. Through his first 21 games of the year, the center averaged 6.2 points, 10.3 rebounds career high, 1.5 steals, and 1.3 blocks in 29.2 minutes. On his return Wednesday, 
Robinson finished with 8 points 3 for 3 from the floor with 2 rebounds, 2 blocks and 3 fouls. He was a plus 14 in 12 minutes on the floor. Isaiah Hardenstein did well in the 44 games he played since Robinson's injury, averaging 8.2 points and 9.9 .9 rebounds in 28.5 minutes. And to his credit, Hardenstein continued to be aggressive in a force that the Raptors had trouble dealing with. He had 9 points and 2 rebounds in the first quarter before Robinson entered. Hardenstein finished with 15 points 5 for 6 shooting and 4 rebounds in 19 minutes. Knicks were without Alec Burks for the second straight night as he is dealing with a sprained right shoulder. The reserve guard joined Julius Randle and Aga Nunobi on the sidelines for the Knicks. Former Knicks RJ Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly who went to Toronto in the Anunobi trade did not play for the Raptors, who were down four of their five regular starters. They would lose guard OK Agbeji for the game midway through the first after he landed hard on his hip trying to corral an errant alley OOP pass. Anunobi received a tribute video from the Raptors early in the first quarter. Akiowa was the recipient of a tribute video after the first quarter. Highlights What's next? The Knicks head off to San Antonio for a matchup with Victor Vembanyama and the Spurs on Friday for an 8 p.m. tip.